So for today, we're going to be looking at the World Drop armor sets that have been introduced in Season of the Lost. Essentially, you're getting Season of the Undying and Season of Dawn's armor set. Now, this is not the ornaments. So first and foremost, don't get excited. This is not the ornaments. This is the armor from the actual season activity. So for example, Season of the Undying, you had the really cool Vex armor. The one from the season activity is the overgrown Vex armor set. That's the one you're going to be getting. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I very much do like this armor set. The only negative, and it's a really big negative in my opinion, is the fact that you can't change the shader. And when I say that, it's like, obviously you can change the shader. It's just more of a, you're not going to like how it comes out because each armor set has moss and grass growing from it and you can't change the shader of that so essentially if you're using like red yellow something that is like super against uh green or you can notice it super like red you can notice it immediately yellow obviously you're not gonna like it 10 times out of 10 you're not gonna like <laughs> 10 times you're not gonna like it because at the end of the day unless you're going for a specific look or you just really like the armor and you won't change the shader that's the only thing you can do i will say though I still recommend this armor just to have it. Uh, I've always followed the philosophy of I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, obviously. So at the end of the day, I still recommend to, I still recommend you to get it just to have it. Uh, Warlock specifically, the helmet, you can't, you can't actually change the shader and nothing. There's no green, there's no moss, there's no nothing. So I do recommend Warlocks to at least get the helmet because the helmet is really cool and it, cha it changes shader really well. Other than that, I'm pretty sure the hunter's uh, helmet doesn't change color or it does. It, it has moss on it. I'm pretty sure the Titans as well. I might be wrong on those two. And obviously uh, you'll see in the video, but at the end of the day, I recommend it just to have it. Uh, you might never know if you want it or if you want to go for an over overgrown look. Either way, I have it and I'm happy about it. Next one is going to be the Season of Dawn armor set from the activity. Again, not ornaments, the seasonal armor set. I am a fan of this just because it's very it's it's a simple version of the ornaments but at the same time there's pieces that i would definitely wear uh i'm thinking about like hunter the hunter um uh, cloak the hunter boots the hunter chest piece those are definitely stuff i would wear the helmet for the warlocks is definitely something i've worn because the blue is something that doesn't change color if i remember correctly but i do pair it with other shaders that have a blue look the only one that I don't use that much is the Titans, just because the Titans suffer from it the most. That just too simple. The simplicity of it's a little too much for me. But that's pretty much it. These are the two armor sets that have been reintroduced. Hopefully, we'll see more armor like this come into the future, and it would be cool to see people be able to get like ornaments, just because I know uh, the FOMO is kind of dog shit, and I don't care what you tell me. You should have played. Doesn't matter, dog. I think it's just dumb. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you guys excited to get this armor? I'd, I'd love to hear you. So yeah, I will see you guys later.